everybody and welcome back to the classic I'm back out here on Valdeblot. This is going to be a little more of a hotspot video than a how-to. I covered a lot of the how-to stuff in the announcement. Uh, and the only reason that I didn't continue on and give you guys a little more of a hotspot guide was quite simply because at the time I ran out of camping supplies and didn't have the time because of, you know, real life job stuff to get the camping supplies, run all the way to somewhere or fast travel and then wait the 30 minutes to fast travel or even like travel myself physically to where I needed to go. So time just cut me short in the last video. So here we are going to go chase the Ibex. S I spooked something because it heard me, but I wasn't running. I'm assuming it's close by. I don't hear any squeaking, so I'm it's probably one of the ptarmigan, but that's not a guarantee. I just don't feel like I'm far enough up this slope yet to see anything. <clears throat> we'll quick run up this. This is... Oh yeah, I've definitely spooked something now. I decided to start the hunt at 9am, which is... For some people, a little late. For me, it's just okay. Oh yeah, there's an Ibex. Alright. I didn't load it. <clears throat> Over here. There's a couple of them. <sighs> I'd like to spot them properly. I think they're both male, but I think they're small males. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna let them kind of settle down. I'm going to get prone on this rock, and then I'll shoot one of them. Okay. One's there. Don't see the other one. <clears throat> is this a female? There is. Alright. You... I can see. Maybe. Nope. Oh. You're squeaking. Slow down a little bit. Probably clip it like right in the skull from here. Let's see. I lost track of him. Er. It. Ah. Gotcha. D E D dead. dark. Alright. So now that little valley right there is where I'm gonna run through across to here. There's a really big area that I can hunt here and then once I get over to about here we'll fast travel to this tent. But I will see you later. I apparently unintentionally was not recording that. Which is good because I missed several shots at that ibex at stupidly close range we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen because there is no footage of it a fish there is one in front of me oh it's literally right there I don't know what they're getting stuck on. 
That's the weird part. Alright. I'm also getting stuck on stuff. At least a male. 75. Not a bad one. That's getting really close to the edge of the reserve, so I'm not going to go that way. We're going to cut back down. Something. There is a lady Ibex right there. Just going to spot her for this skill. We're not going to shoot her. Because she's a little out of the way of the direction that I'm hunting in. And not only that, a female. So I'm not going to get much more than $4, $6 for her. Whereas if I keep running this way and I run into more males, I'll get paid a lot better. And for those of you who are taking my advice, uh, the males are going to win the competition, not a female. <sighs> I'm going to wait till she knows what she's doing. Got it. Ah. Right here behind the rocks. Another male. 175. I'd say that's a pretty average score from what I've experienced. 175 is fairly average. Um, if you're looking for, like, how big do they need to be for, like, a super rare gallery, you're talking 250 plus. Um, and from what I understand, they get up into the 280s, maybe the 290s. They get really big. We just came from over here. So we have everything between me and that waypoint to search and destroy, I guess. I'm gonna start running, see if we can get a message that we've spooked anything, and then I guess keep my eyes peeled for movement, and listen for sounds that will give away these Ibex. See one. Got it. And I don't see anything running still. Alright. One seventy three. Alrighty. I think he quite literally might have been the only thing over here. Now, I'm going to work my way over to the other tent, I think. Over towards this one, yeah. Also, if you uh, kind of need to fast travel, but don't have the timer on, or your timer is uh, not ready to time itself out for you to fast travel again, falling off of things will uh, <clears throat> fix that. I am now at my third tent. I'm taking it a bit slower because the sun has lit up a lot of this. Sit here and look for a minute. See if I can see moving. <clears throat> Honestly, I really can't. So I think I might hop up over that little ridge facing the ice. See if I get any more movement. And if I don't, instead of running all the way up to that glacier pass, I'll just keep running this way. Because I can cover a lot of this ground. And then this will be my last fast travel.
Whoop. There's a bird. <clears throat> I swear, I just need to remember to bring my freaking 10 gauge with me and I would make so much money. I already can see an Ibex. Are you a female? Yeah. Here's the only thing about this little area. It's low enough now that I have to have climbing supplies to get up this. We're about to find out if I have climbing supplies on me. Nope. So I can't set this up. But these rock formations on the flat straight up walls, these are where you put climbing supplies. I do have a set here. Dang it, I don't have anything else. I should have packed like the crossbow pistol. Fly. You too. I'm telling you, man. That's how you're gonna get your tracking and spotting skill up for these birds. Just running them over all the time, basically. Now I shot one, like, up here. In this bowl area. So we're gonna have to mark up there somewhere to go check. Because wherever she is, she's not in render for me right now. I just hope that the sky clears up soon. I'm able to see a little bit more. More ptarmigan tracks. I mean, I guess the nice part is it means that I didn't spook any Ibex from here, but I'd like to see Ibex since I'm out here for Ibex. There's some Ibex tracks, and there's the Ibex. I'm gonna wait for him to calm down a little bit. I hit the back leg. <sighs> if he travels straight up again. <clears throat> I think I missed. That time we hit it. So I didn't notice at the time, but those were uh, three different Ibex. We'll find out later. There he is. He must have slid down a little bit. One sixty-six. I have it. Two bullets left. Who my name? Still gotta go find the other Ibex. But at least it stopped raining. For now.
I think I just clipped him. Yep, alright, he's down. This one's over here. Hey, we at least found it. And he'll be sliding down. Dark female. Oh, he's up here. Oh, there's another one. A good last bullet one. I'm gonna wait for a second. Perfect. One seventy one. Now remember, if you shoot an ibex and it gets stuck up here, you're gonna climb up over by those little pebbles that are kind of near the corner of my hunter mate. These ones as well. Like that's where you're gonna get up there and around. You know what? Since they're right here, I'm gonna pick up his extra tracks. Get that skill. <clears throat> 99 kilograms to 167. That is how I run this entire edge here. I would say that pretty much covers it. How to get the Ibex, where to get the Ibex. Did I miss an Ibex? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When I was shooting that one on the wall, was I actually shooting at three different Ibex, didn't notice it, and got all three of them? Is that what happened? Like, were they all traveling together, kind of fleeing together? And like, I hit the first one, and then I went back up to go get a second shot, and I actually shot the second one? Is that what happened? Yeah, 172. Body hit. That's so funny. So again, the competition ends Saturday, April 27th at midnight CDT, which is Central US time. So that way I have enough time to get it get like the winners announced in the video for the next day with editing and stuff um, the May announcement will happen on the 28th but the May competition won't open until May 1st so don't think that just because it's being announced on the 28th and there's 31 days in April that it's gonna start early it's not we are still not starting until the first so I appreciate you all for hanging out with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Can't wait to see the submissions in the Discord. Now remember, we did change the rules. So I would like to see trophy shots in the Discord with the score of the animal attached to the trophy shot and a link to the hunt. That way I can go looking for the score sheets as needed. But I feel like trophy shots are a little more motivating. And not only that, with your trophy shot in the Discord, if and when you get first and or second place, I can put your picture of the animal in the video for the announcement of the winners. That is all. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.